In this video, we're going to talk about how to order fractions from least to greatest or low to high. So how can we do that? How can we rank the following four fractions from least to greatest? The easiest way to do this is to get common denominators, and then we could compare the numerators of each fraction. But what's a common multiple of 2, 3, 5, and 4? There's many ways to do this, but it helps to know that 4 is a multiple of 2, so we don't have to worry about the 2. For the rest, we could just multiply 3, 5, and 4, and that will give us a common multiple. 5 times 4 is 20, 20 times 3 is 60. 60 is a multiple of 2, 3, 4, and 5. You could divide 60 by any of these numbers. So now let's get common denominators. Sixty divided by two is thirty. So I'm going to multiply one over two, the first fraction, by thirty over thirty, and that will give me a common denominator of sixty. Sixty divided by three is twenty. So the second fraction. I'm going to multiply it by 20 over 20, and that will give me a denominator of 60. 60 divided by 5 is 12. So the third fraction, I'm going to multiply it by 12 over 12. 60 divided by 4 is 15. So the last fraction, I'm going to multiply it by 15 over 15. So 30 over 30 times 1 over 2, you could just multiply across. We're going to get 30, and 30 times 2 is 60. Here we have 20, and 20 times 3 is 60. 12 times 2 is 24. 12 times 5 is 60. 15 times 3 is 45. 15 times 4 is 60. So now that we have common denominators, we could just look at the numerators to rank them. So we want to go from least to greatest, low to high. The lowest of the four numerators is 20. So we're going to put that first, 20 over 60. The next highest number is 24. And then it's 30 over 60. And then 45 over 60. So let's rewrite it using the original fractions. 20 over 60, that came from 1 over 3. 1 over 3 is less than... 24 over 60, that came from 2 over 5. 30 over 60, that reduces to 1 half. And 45 over 60, that came from 3 over 4. So 1 over 3 is the smallest fraction. 3 over 4 is the largest fraction. So that's how we can order fractions from least to greatest. First, you want to get common denominators. Then you want to compare the numerators and then you can put them in order by doing so. And then you could rewrite the original fractions in order from least to greatest.